So Brantley will go to the line. Well, that's, a, that's, that's a good call because there was nobody with a firm position. They were on an angle. And that's exactly what Hershey wanted to do, is get, get one of their big guys going into basketball. Indians hold a one-point lead. Brantley now with 30 seconds left and a chance to tie it. Susquehanna Township basketball. Hershey will apply backcourt pressure. Hershey has missed six free throws in a row after shooting so well for much of this game. Well, it's the fatigue factor too, setting in. These guys, these kids have played hard, Greg, all game long. Nobody got the crossing foul. It's still a one possession game. Jordan makes both of these. There's 29 seconds for Hershey to set up an opportunity. And remember, these guys are freshmen. I mean, we talked about Milbury and Mac. Well, look at Ben Dupree and Todd Turner. Uh, Susquehanna is famous for trusting freshmen to get the job done. Trent Daniels inbounds. Susquehanna Township with a one point lead in the basketball. And immediately, Spinago commits the foul. So go to the line, one and one. And again, as you said, this is still a one possession game for Hershey. And this is this is a this is a playoff atmosphere. This is a, this is an opportunity for teams to mature in. And, and Hershey, uh, this is going to test to see where, what Hershey's made of. Can they get a good opportunity with this crowd and with this pressure the way it is? Jordan Milbury. Big free throw. That's his first point of the game, and none bigger. Big free throw, it's the difference between a two and a three for Hershey coming up here. And the freshman is connected. And Township. Uh, is there a timeout or not? Uh, I think Hershey's gonna take one. Well, there's some debate over actually if, if somebody called this or not. Well, I guess we're gonna play on. So now 26 seconds left. The lead is three, Hershey trailing, they've got the basketball. Final seconds. And now, Hershey takes a timeout. Well, with the momentum on Susquehanna Township side, what do you look for here? Going for a three, or do you go for the two and then press? Well, you know, it looks, I, you, you get what you can, Greg. If you can get a good look at the three, Hershey has some very good three-point shooters that can knock this shot down. But uh, you, 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 you look to attack the rim first uh, because there's plenty of time to get a basket and, and, also, and also get the ball back. Part of the Susquehanna Township crowd. And they have been into it in the second half. And now their team with a chance to come away with, uh, no matter who wins there, I mean, psychologically, what a big win. Not only are you wow. beating your rival, but you're, you know, you've won a hard fought well, game. You know, and I'm, I'm floored right now because this momentum shifted out of nowhere. It looked like Hershey was going to go on to win this game. And, and, and who knows what's good. Well, this is exciting basketball, Greg. This is, this is amateur basketball at its best. 15 left, Hershey down by three. Murray. They're gonna need a three now. Spinagle, cross, here's Murray. Got his block, got his own rebound back, and will lay it in. Big play by Murray, and now the time runs out, and that is it. No 
no timeout, game over. Wow, well, both Hershey has nothing to be ashamed of. Susquehanna Township, uh, man, great job coming back. 50, yes. yep, 56 55 is our final. We'll be back to talk with Vince Rogers of Susquehanna Township when we continue here on ABC 27. Advanced Tubes professional staff has strategized and worked as a team to improve the 2010 training plan. Feedback I've been getting um, from the conversations I've had with the parents and kids alike is they would like to see us implement a comprehensive skill evaluation. The comprehensive skill evaluation will be the basis for recommendations and class placement. We are signing players up right now for the start of the spring program. Advanced Hoops has programs for the youth and novice players, but is mostly noted for helping top area high school players reach their individual potential and develop skills that college coaches are looking for. Advanced Hoops is currently assisting over 20 high school players with the college recruiting process through phone calls, website player profiles, and in-house 515 video footage. We have helped seven players sign early, earning full scholarships to play college basketball. Hello, can I help you? Oh, no need to worry, Mrs. Smith. My grandfather is Russ Baylor himself and has been in business for over 30 years. At Russ's Auto and Trailer Sales, we have it all. We specialize in selling a complete line of trailers, a variety of used cars and campers, our service department can do it all. And we even have a nice guy named Justin who answers the phone. And what do we tell him, Maddie? Nobody fusses at Russ's. Hemp Brothers Incorporated is family owned and operated since 1925 and has been working together to provide excellent service for both large and small businesses or individuals. Hemp Brothers Incorporated is committed to producing high quality products and providing excellent service and efficient project management. Concrete, asphalt, crushed stone, and sand are ready to order. Call us at 737-3411 or visit us on the web at hempbrothers.com. Advanced Hoops has enjoyed working with Susquehanna's A.J. Dean. His competitive spirit of 15 points per game has given his team a lift. Off the court, A.J. is a true student athlete, taking honors classes and writing student articles for the Patriot News. Matt Bannis' 92% average not only makes him a true student athlete, but Matt's the leading returning scorer for the Hershey Trojans, who are the defending mid-pen champions. Matt and A.J. are tonight's select physical therapy student athlete spotlight. Well, we're back live in Susquehanna Township. The Indians pulling out a 56-55 win. Coach Vince Rogers and uh, AJ Dean are with us. Wow, that was that was some game. Talk, talk about the momentum changes in this game. Well, you know what, uh, Hershey uh, towards the end of the first half, Hershey kind of stole the momentum. Uh, I think we only had uh, two points in the second quarter. We was up uh, probably around 12, 14 points in the first quarter. Going in the second quarter, it stole the momentum. Uh, however, we kind of captured the momentum going back into the fourth quarter. Um, we just dug, um, dug in there and, and just stayed with it. Our, I think our defense uh, picked up in the um, fourth quarter as well. You had a lot of defensive intensity. We're going to talk about AJ and, and two AJ in a second. You got a couple of freshmen in there who are very impressive. Oh, absolutely. Uh, Gabe Mack, he hit that big shot in the fourth quarter to put us up by one. Um, that was a huge shot, and uh, for a freshman, that was just huge. AJ, talk about the momentum swings in this game because you guys had control in the first half. They came back, and you guys hit some big shots in that fourth quarter. Um, Hershey's a very well coached team and um, they came out and they started out a little bit flat but they picked things right back up and um, we knew going into the second half that it was going to be a dog fight and luckily some of my teammates came through. You got a long way to go here I mean, we're very early in the season but just psychologically you know you, you are the leader of this team now you've had some great guys that you've played with but what does this win mean to this team? Oh, I think this win's huge um, just having a bunch of younger guys on a team um, every game can be an adventure and um, close games that's something we have to learn how to deal with and something we have to excel in. Then same question to you. What, what does this win psychologically mean to the team uh, coming out of the gates like this? Well, I'll tell you what, it was a huge win um, because tomorrow night we travel down to um, Albright University. Uh, we face one of the better teams out of District 1, Octorera. Um, I think they're favored to win uh, District 1 Triple A Championship. Uh, so it was a huge win, giving our kids a little bit of confidence and, uh, again, momentum going, to, going in tomorrow night because that's going to be a long ride. It's going to be an um, adverse um, environment. 
So um, it was a big win for us tonight. Again, I give Hershey Hershey a lot of credit. Uh, coaches, Hershey, uh, a lot of coaching uh, had a great job. They did ben, a great job. Vince, thanks. Congratulations. Uh, thank you. Vince Rogers, AJ Dean. With us, Charlie and I will be back with a final word right after this. You don't think about physical therapy until you need it. When an injury occurs, think Select Physical Therapy. Select leads the way in providing patients with clinical expertise using the latest medical research and techniques. Our team provides physical and hand therapy, pre and post surgery, work injury rehabilitation, and much more. With several locations in the Harrisburg area, let Select return you to activity at home, work, or play. Select Physical Therapy. Recovery starts here. We make carbine simple by knocking down all the hurdles we can. We do what you expect, what's logical, or just plain right. For instance, the live market driven prices we offer up front are the same everywhere you may choose to shop. Our prices are the same on the internet, by phone, or in the showroom. That's how it should be. Experience car buying made simple at Bobby Ray Hall on the Carlisle Pike, Mechanicsburg. Knoll Insurance located at 704 Bridge Street in New Cumberland. They offer property, casualty, auto, homeowners, health, and life insurance. Knoll Insurance also offers notary services. Call Knoll Insurance today at 774-8128. Advanced Hoops has enjoyed working with Susquehanna's A.J. Dean. His competitive spirit of 15 points per game has given his team a lift. Off the court, A.J. is a true student athlete taking honors classes and writing student articles for the Patriot News. Matt Bannis' 92% average not only makes him a true student athlete, but Matt's the leading returning scorer for the Hershey Trojans, who are the defending mid-pen champions. Matt and AJ are tonight's select physical therapy student athlete spotlight. Back live in Susquehanna Township, Greg Mace together with Charlie Forty. Well, that was a good start to a league schedule. Wow, I, I'm trying to catch my breath here, but I would have to say that both teams have something they can take away from this game, and both coaches can build on this. Definitely Coach Rogers is happy to get a home win, but Clo Coach Blackburn, I think, saw something in his, in his team this game that he can build off of. Uh, just a, a great team effort overall for both teams. And we've got another big one coming up on Tuesday night, Chambersburg and Cumberland Valley at 730. Yeah, Kayon Teal is a nice player for Chambersburg, and Coach Stuffler always does a good job. Uh, and there's definitely a, a couple new faces over at Cumberland Valley that's going to make it interesting. Uh, looking forward to doing that game. All right, stay with us. We're going to hear more from Dr. Cordes on uh, sports and nutrition and Arlington Orthopedics. And coming up a little bit later on the website, if you want to log on to advancedhoops.com, there are more in-depth interviews on there as well. Well, and, the, and the, the people can vote for their fans' player of the game. So if you're watching at home, Go online and let's see what, who you thought the player of the game was. Yeah, if you go on Advanced Hoops, just click on the icon that says High School Basketball Live. There's a neat little form you can fill out and, uh, and you can be part of it. All right, Charlie and I will be back again again, as we said, on Tuesday night right here on ABC 27.3 with the Chambersburg-Cumberland Valley game. Now, thanks to everybody here at Susquehanna Township, our Invicta Sports crew and our director, Chad Edwards, and our statistician, Jim Gallagher. Now, for Charlie Fortney, Greg Mace, so long. Once again, our final score is Susquehanna Township. 56 and Hershey 55. Good night, everybody.